morning youtubers today's topic is going to be the Ottawa Senators I'm a fan I've been a fan for years the very first hockey game I actually ever went to was the Ottawa 67s when I was just a little kid so uh, when they got their franchise back which was well deserved I immediately took up the cause and I've been a loyal fan ever since the problem I have is how in the world did Corey Clouston ever get a job there? Now, some people might say, oh yeah, everybody's down on the coach. Well, I've had the unfortunate experience of being in this man's presence more than once. I'm a barber by trade. And when I lived in Grand Prairie, he came in for a haircut. And he did a pretty crappy job with the Grand Prairie Storm. What was interesting was that we had conversation. I don't really endorse fighting in hockey. Um, I played hockey for years as a goalie, played defense. And uh, I, I guess I don't really have a big issue uh, with uh, you know, making a statement, but um, fighting for the sake of fighting is, is stupid. Uh, it doesn't really get anything going if you, uh, a good hit a good open ice hit will get your guys going just as good as a fight in half the time no one really wins these stupid fights anyways so uh, Mr. Clouston sitting in my chair we had this conversation and he said to me well fights get uh, the fans out of their seats get some going get some excited if they want it Mr. Clouston and every other stupid coach out there that thinks this if you want your fans out of the seats put a puck in the net that gets everybody going. Sells tickets, sells jerseys, sells everything. Stupid thing. And look at this here. Broken hands, concussions. It's stupid. Win games. Clues to weren't you the one that just not that long ago said we're not worried about winning a cup. We want a dynasty of cups. You couldn't win a hockey game if a meant your life. You're a twit. Oh, and then the second place I was unfortunately subject to this moron was Powell River, the Powell River Kings, who, incidentally, this year are doing quite well. They are at the top of the league. So, feel free to comment on this. I want opinions. I, I, Ottawa fans have got to band together and start making a statement. Get rid of this twit. I mean, even the general manager, uh, that, that's a tough job. Who wants that job? Anyway, um, uh, I can't really complain about the GM. Those are big decisions and not not uh, couch potato decisions. But the coach, come on, this guy's moron. Why don't they just let the water boy coach? Can't do any worse in this season. And as far as restarting the team, I understand that. Uh, unfortunately, remember not that long ago. <laughs> royally, but uh, hey, you know, we rebuilt and started over. We had a shot at it a couple of years, didn't pan out. Thanks to Mr. Chara. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, there's my rant for the day. Ottawa Senators coach, it's time for you to flush your miserable little career down the toilet, go back to midget or something. Um, but, oh, you know what you could do? You suck really bad, so. You could become a commentator for the CDC. <laughs> what the heck is this? Anyways, that's a rant for another day. Uh, okay, remember. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Next year, go Ottawa, go. Rebuilding. We were the very first ones to win the cup. And the circle is not done until we win it again.